Let's take a look at an IV curve tracer or an octopus. I think they call it an octopus because it, it has uh, eight wires coming off of it. I made this one up. And all this it's a uh, transformer. I'm using 120 volts down to 12 volt AC. And what we want to do is we want to take our, our oscilloscope and we want to put it in the XY mode. And we want to plot our voltage across this horizontal or X axis here, our horizontal line. And on the Y, the vertical axis, we want to put uh, plot our current across there, across the component that we put in there. So we put our oscilloscope in the XY mode and uh, we we take a look at our, our voltage and current across the, the component here. Now, in order to do that, I don't want to put, be putting 12 volts across these uh, these different components that I have here. Oh, kind of wreck them. So I want to reduce the voltage. So in order to reduce the voltage, I'm using a voltage divider. Now, in this case, I'm going to use a, a 1 k ohm resistor and a 100 ohm resistor here. And uh, at 12 volts, I'm going to get about a volt out of here. Okay. Now, 1 volt AC is going to, the peak is going to be 1.41 volts, but that should be uh, well within the uh, limits of the, the components that I'm going to put on here. Now, I did add a 500 ohm resistor here, and that's so that if I, I can put this up to 600 ohms, and 600 ohms here and 1K here is going to give me about 4.5 uh, volts RMS, uh, or 6.4 volts peak uh, voltage out here. So that's the voltage I'm going to be putting across the components right here. Now, I want to limit the current too, so I'm going to put a 1K ohm resistor here, and if I have one volt up here, that's going to limit my current to one, one milliamp down here. And we want to, so we're going to test our voltage. Probe is going to be right across from this point to this point, which is right across the uh, component here. Test our voltage. And our current is going to be across the this 1K resistor. So it's going to tell us the voltage across the resistor, which will relate to the, uh, the current. Okay. And uh, the current is going to be on the vertical axis, and the voltage will be on the horizontal axis. Now, if there's an open circuit, that's just going to show us a, a horizontal line like this, no current flowing. And if we short this out, if we have current flowing and, uh, you know, our, our one milliamp here, and that's going to be uh, in a ver uh, vertical line here. Now, resistor is going to be anyway from between here and here. And I'll we'll put this uh, resistor on here to check it out. Now, a diode is going to be a open until it uh, turns on, about 0.7 volts, and then it's going to short out like this. Now, a Zener diode is going to do the same thing. It's going to turn on at this point, and then over on this side, this one happens to be about a 3-volt three, three Zener. It's going to start to drop off at about uh, 3 volts, so I'll, I'll put the uh, voltage up here a little bit higher so we can see this, uh, this curve that drops off. Now, a capacitor, you know, two microfarad capacitor is going to show a circle. Uh, a 0.1 microfarad capacitor is an ellipse, and a uh, 50 microfarad capacitor, it's, it's going to be a vertical ellipse, it's going to be very small. Now, I'm going to take this N channel MOSFET and I'm going to go from the source to the drain, and this is what's going to happen here. We'll have a, uh, our current's going to uh, turn on here, but it does have a breakdown voltage on it. Now, these MOSFETs, the breakdown voltage is, uh, is, is fairly small, below my 4 volts. So I can show the volt, uh, the breakdown voltage. The source to the gate is going to be like this. It's just going to turn on. Now, if I use a a, a, a bigger transistor, the the breakdown voltage is uh, going to be higher. It'll be uh, some of them are 30 volts or so. So I won't be able to test that on this uh, with this setup here. You can always increase the voltage if uh, if you want to see what uh, see what that looks like. So that's what we're going to do. We're going to we're going to stick these uh, components across the uh, the test leads here and on the oscilloscope I'm going to have it in the XY mode and we're going to we're going to see what see what they look like this way we can uh, we can test our components to see uh, see if they're if they're working and uh, it works nice for these Zener diodes too so I'm going to go over to the oscilloscope and we'll we'll take a look here we are at the oscilloscope now this is the uh, open circuit this is the voltage and that's our shorted circuit that's our vertical line now if we put a, uh, a resistor across here so this is a 10k pot 
10 k's all the way up like that and as I bring the voltage back up this is that's the short there zero zero ohms and up to 10 k so anywhere in between here we can kind of tell our, what our our resistance is we'll take a look at a diode here's the diode and if I put it the other direction there we go like that so that's our our diode trace we can see how our diodes working fine nice sharp curve there here's our um, Zener diode and uh, I'll turn it the other way it'll look better so there we are that's our, our drop off there uh, at uh, about three volts and we can actually plot that on the scope there I'm using my uh, old analog scope here just looks nice and now um, take a look at a capacitor this is a uh, this is a two microfarad capacitor and um, Let's take a look at a, um, let's see, that's our, that's our 50, it's just a, a vertical, um, vertical ellipse there, and I think this is the 0.1 here, and so that's uh, 0.1 microfarads, so we can kind of get an idea what the uh, capacitors are capacitance in by the, uh, the shape of the circle there now this is my um, this is an end channel MOSFET and I'm just going from uh, source to drain here so we can see that it has the uh, drop it looks like a uh, Zener diode and if I go to uh, let's see this is my uh, base to emitter it's like that and uh, so if we turn the voltage up uh, these things activate about 5 volts so if I turn the voltage up we'll get a better curve there and I'll put it this way there we go like that so it's uh, it's starting to turn on and uh, so that's uh, that's the IV curve tracer so it works out good on the uh, on the oscilloscope and uh, you can kind of uh, test uh, some components you have and it uh, if you have it down to one volt um, you know one milliamp uh, you can even try to test it inside of a circuit and uh, without uh, you know uh, wrecking the other components there with that uh, the, the low voltage so uh, anyway that's uh, IV curve tracer they call them an octopus and uh, thank you